Welcome to day one of me going out and meeting people on my motorcycle. We're gonna be heading up to South Bend to go up to McDaniel's Harley Davidson. You guys don't know this, but my dad actually works there. Yeah, he works at another dealer. Mm. Let's go have some fun, guys. Let's head out to South Bend. This is my first <laughs> ride basically since I left the dealership a couple days ago and this is going to be a journey. I plan on going around different dealerships, different places, different bike shops, learning and talking to people because there's a whole lot more out there in the world than what was in that dealership and I don't mean that in a negative way from any point of view. But there's a lot I need to learn. There's a lot of, you know, even other manufacturers. I'll go out, I'll do some test rides on some Yamahas, some Kawasaki's. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of want to broaden out what, what we can all learn together. Because there's a lot out there. So I'm really excited for this journey. And if you're still watching this video, I really do appreciate the support. I'm going to need it. You know, I'm planning on doing this full time, so... If you can hit that follow button hit that like button and uh yeah let's go have some, have some journeys on these motorcycles do, do, do. got like an hour and 43 minute ride i actually used to live up where we're heading Oop. let's have some fun ah! <laughs> yeah i used to live up that way if you're around the south bend area my dad lives up in the Osceola area, so now that I have some extra time, I will be heading up that way quite a bit more. So if you're in that area, you wanna go out for a ride, let me know, cause I will do it. Make some content together. There are cops everywhere today. The one in front of me, I just passed like two. At least I'm not on a sporty. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you guys don't know about that, I got a little sports that I'm doing a stunt build on and when I get on that bike, yeah, it's fun. Just uh, hang out behind you, sir. For some reason they like to pull this bike over, I don't know why, I don't, I don't get it. Alright, gotta stop and get some go-go juice. I used to take this road every single day. I used to work right down the road from here. I'll show you guys here in a bit. Back in the old steel days. It is weird to live a life and not get burnt from welding or dirty or breathing in crap all day long. Clean looking, super glide. I dig those, those are cool. Not a big Dyna fan, but I know I'll own one one day. I said that about a Sportster too. <laughs> Ride safe, my dude. All right. So back here behind this building, where it's a Mexican restaurant now, it used to be Beamer's. And if you guys know what Beamer's was, man, they had the best burger, the Beamer burger. Mm. And they had pretty good uh, bike events and stuff like that. Mm, chicken. Mm. Hey, buddy. Right, right, here we go. <clears throat> I haven't honestly rode the road glide in a while since I got, I got those other bikes now. This thing's big. All right, and always run, uh, you know, the good stuff in your bike. Don't be that guy that runs freaking 87. Come on, baby. Beautiful day today. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Welp. Hmm. Do they have paper towels? They do. Holy shit! This is like the first gas station in 85 mile radius that's got paper towel. <sighs> Come on, dude. Get your shit together. <laughs> hey, look how good my paint looks now. It's right. Let's roll. But yeah, right over there, SDI. We'll pass it up here in the front. It's one of the biggest steel mills around the area. I used to mill right out there for a company. Let's get the back down the road and let's get to South Bend. Super 
clean coop over there. Heck yeah. Some of you guys don't know, but I really, oh, there's two of them. I grew up in the car world, you know, family owned body shops growing up, and I was more of a car guy than a motorcycle guy for a long time until I figured out what these things do for me, but yeah, I have more room for, <laughs> I got three bikes in my garage. I don't have any room for a car right now, but I will have another one one day. Mark my words. has worked here for a few years now you know him by pickle rick or slick rick black hat rick he's got a, a few different aliases kind of a famous guy when it comes to the old uh, karaoke but yeah he does deliveries pretty much anything they need uh detail work paint correction things like that my dad's a body guy really good at painting so this winter this bike might get a paint job this one or this horse i don't know i gotta do some paint correction yeah, McDaniels is located in a weird place. It's right up here on top of this hill to the left. It's not a very big place coming from HDFW, where I'm from. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. This is Pickle Rick, Slick Rick, Black Hot Rick. All of them. Ugh. I didn't know I was gonna be on TV right now. Oh yeah, we're gonna, this is all recorded. All right, we went and got some lunch. Now it's time to go inside and meet some folks. Let's do it. So yes, this is McDaniel's Harley in South Bend, Indiana. Right off the road here. Take us in, Slick Rick. Pickle Rick. It's not the entrance, by the way. Don't go in those doors. Welcome to McDaniels. Woo! Uh oh. You're on camera now. Just so you know. So this is the showroom, motor clothes. Got some goodies. Everybody's gonna get quiet now. You don't have to get quiet. I'm not quiet. I'm like <laughs> Julian, okay, what's up, dude? What's happening? Hey, man. Welcome to McDaniel's Harley Davidson. Yeah, I appreciate you having me out here, no man. No problem, anytime. Yeah. How long you work for uh, Harley Davidson? Uh, worked with the motor company for 10 years and the dealer network for eight, so 18 years okay. altogether, all yeah. Knows this stuff. Yeah. What, what's your name, Miss Hiding Person? <laughs> Don. Don? Don't be nervous. Yeah. Okay, Don. I'm nervous too. I hate being in front of the camera. That's why I'm behind it right now. <laughs> but this is our showroom. Got their soft tails lined up down here. Quite a few different options if you're looking for a soft tail. Low rider asses. And then you're touring. I know they had an ST down here. Where's it at? There you go. Got their STs. What is this? I could wheelie this. Oh, it's not for sale. Brothers grew up playing with. Well, maybe they'll let me go stunt that. Yeah. <laughs> you said they had what? Uh, about every t-shirt Harley's ever made. It looks like it. And or clothing. You guys do have a lot of clothing. A little bit of everything. Got all the hard to find stuff. Road King. I need to get one that says Me Too for my road glide. <laughs> black road glides. It's basically the black street glide nowadays. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hi Don. Say hi. hi. She's, she's nervous guys. It's going to take us a while to get her broke in but We'll get her done. <laughs> Don, what, what was that again? That guy dropped his pants. He did what? He dropped his pants for me one time. Why? Um, Because he wanted me to check the size in this pants. Uh, I get it. I get it. My mommy wasn't there, so I had to ask the next person. Yeah. I get it. Just drop the pants in. <laughs> Don't do that when you come in here, guys. <laughs> they got some really cool bikes out here, too. Some original stuff. Slick Rick washing some sickles. Yeah, buddy. Got a hydro glide here. Gotta make them pretty and shiny. If you're looking to get your bike washed, though, I can tell you he knows what he's doing. Yeah, like 40 years experience. Yeah, yeah, literally. And paint correction. He's a body guy. I'll show you some. We'll do another video at the house with the 55 and all the cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Too bad, Tom.
Yeah, Uncle Chevelle, he did. Hey, uh, guess what he rides? Sivo. Sivo, man. He's a Sivo. He needs a red carpet when he pulls in the building. <laughs> For his red carpet walk, look at the style this man carries. It's like a spa motorcycle. And as you can see, this is their service side back here in the rear. They do have some overflow for some used bikes back here for sale too. Pretty big shop. And then their parts department, got a good selection of stuff over here. Got some cleaning supplies, more sickles. And this is one of my favorite paint sets besides the Mako Shark that they had back in the day. Yeah, 2018 CVO. Ooh, and we got this guy. You never see this color. Well, see him very often. I'm telling you right now, I need one of these. This thing's cool. Comment below if you guys have one of these or ever rode one. Pretty neat. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's your name? Hi, my name is Angela. What do you do here? I am the finance business manager, accountant. Numbers person? Yes, numbers person. Yeah, we need those in our lives. Very nice saying hi. Yeah, we'll be back. Hey. <laughs> I just walked into her office. I don't even know who that is. No, this is <laughs> This is my plan. Go out to different dealerships, get to meet more people, see how they run their business, see what they're about, see what they do differently than other dealerships, and uh, have some fun. I seen something back here. Oh yeah. Check this. This is cool. Super clean. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know who this is. It's an old school two in one. So it's been painted, but 31,000 miles on it. Heck yeah, that seems cool. That. Can you see that? Check this. I'm not a V-Rock fan, guys. But that looks really fast. Looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, Triumph dirt bike. Road King T bar. It's cool. I want, to, I want that down. I want to take that one home. 300,000 miles. 300,000 mile road glide. Does it run? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Dang. Families. That's cool. He's uh, incapacitated. Can't ride anymore. Uh, people say that Harleys don't run over 100,000 miles. Yep. Crazy people don't know nothing. What's up with these V rods? Ugh. And there's another one over there. It's not right. No, I think I have a place to come sit. Take that home. Hi, my name's Justin. I work at McDaniels, <laughs> playing with some motorcycles. Yeah. He's very excited to be on camera. <laughs> These folks are not normal. This isn't normal. Back in Fort Wayne, they're, well, they're, they still don't want to be on camera either. Except for my dad. Oh, man, you just Yeah. where I get my looks from. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. I heard this is the most knowledgeable guy in the building. <laughs> He's the minister. It says it on his computer. Oh. Nobody wants to be on camera. Oh. This is going to be harder than I thought. All right, guys. There you have it. Pickle Rick and Nick. It's Pops. We'll be in a lot more videos here. And, uh, yeah, show you some of his paint work and his the stuff he's into but yeah thanks for coming to hang out right or right thanks for watching guys yeah and have uh yeah hit the follow button subscribe button yeah. don't be a dork yeah bye